16-year-old William Nickram has the moves. They are artificial intelligence-driven dance moves with meaningful consequences. That tracks the movement of uh, humans and dancers, and it basically it helps you learn more about their patterns and being, being able to correlate it with various diseases like ALS and cancer. So this work is using AI to recreate body language and help scientists find patterns in people who have often fatal diseases. Is it spending most of its time in this corner? 17-year-old David Sammy is one of Will's research partners and a classmate, working on the software side of things. I learned that we use a, a neural network called the UNET. Um, which basically takes a huge amount of data and squeezes it down and expands it again to get the most important parts. Will and David are two of just 12 high school students here at the Salk Institute, chosen for full-time paid positions, conducting world-class research projects this summer. They work with mentors who have the expertise that then guides them to experiment and use AI for good. These kids are really clearly going to be the stars of the future, right? They're, they're eager, they're willing to learn, they're willing to, do, to be thrown into a, a really advanced scientific environment and to put in the time to figure out how to, how to work within this space. It's a controlled environment. 18-year-old Kaylee Fuller is another one of the dedicated dozen working at the Salk Institute. She just graduated from Valhalla High School and is headed to Cal Poly Humboldt on Friday, right after she delivers her findings on these plants, genetically modified to grow much deeper roots that absorb much more carbon dioxide. I think with the young generation, with people like me, um, the more focused we are on it, the more hope that we do have to reach our net zero um, carbon emissions. That's the goal. Goals and moves that could really matter in the not-too-distant future. Yeah. MG Perez, KPBS News.